Good morning and welcome to our day two vlog here from Europa Park in Germany. And once again, the sun is shining here in Rus, Germany. And we're ready to get back on the park for a second day, Woo! aren't we? Yesterday, we did so many different rides here at Europa Park. Loads of the big coasters, Silver Star, Woden, Arthur, Blue Fire, and so much more. So check out the day one vlog if you've not already seen it. Starting the vlog this morning outside tonight's accommodation, which is another four-star superior hotel here at Europa Park Resort, and it's Coliseo, and that's where we're staying tonight, right in the behind us. So we're gonna be filming a little room tour, and that'll be the next vlog coming up, uh, and the final vlog from this trip here to Europa Park. So make sure you check it out. Looking forward to getting back on the park? Yes. Yes, great to get back on some more yes, rides today. Nice. Um, we'll get on Fjord rafting, get on the rapids, probably do them quite early because it got really busy yesterday. So we'll try and beat the crowds and get on there early. Um, along with that as well, we'll do some of the other flat rides, um, like the crazy taxi ride in the England themed area, um, over in the Irish themed area, the dancing dinghy, and some more of our favorites here at Europa Park. Uh, again, we're starting here at the hotel resort instead of the main entrance, because we get in 30 minutes early when you are a resort guest. You get various different rides in the Spanish area and also Blue Fire, and it makes it perfect really, because you can then get straight into Woden's queue when it opens at night o'clock and beat the crowd so we'll make our way to the hotel entrance and get inside the park welcome to day two here at europa park in germany right then so this morning we've had two rides on blue fire mega coaster and also a ride on Woden timber coaster as well of course we had our two rides on blue fire during that 30 minutes extra ride time and we did Woden just after as well so yeah not too bad really for the first sort of 45 minutes of our day if you want to see on ride povs from both of them and you haven't already seen it check out our day one vlog here from europa park Anyway, we're going to head around the corner here now towards fjord rafting in the Scandinavian themed area and we'll take you on board. Let's go. Wow, what a beauty. So here's a little look at some signage that we've got in place here all about mouth coverings. As we can see, here's a look at all the cattle pen queue line where they've actually put up all the barriers just here as well, just so that you can see it. So there's the queue this morning, literally just over the bridge. Straight over there onto the turntable. Have you caught some fish for me there, Charlotte? Yes. Caught some nice juicy fish. Right, let's go and have a ride. Let's see how wet we're gonna get. We know what Charlotte's like on rapids. Check out our vlog from F-Telling, the evening vlog for a nice ride on the Piranha. Let's just say, Charlotte enjoyed that, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> let's go on Fjord Rafting. Right then, here we go. So we wait about five minutes and we're here on Fjord Rafting now. A bit of rapids action. Let's see how wet we're gonna get sitting right next to Charlotte here, so uh, yeah, Ow. let's see what happens. Ooh, a bit bumpy. Oh, no! <laughs> okay. Wait. Oh. oh! Just a light sprinkle. Oh! Hey! Oh, I'm glad we didn't sit there. Great views there, Blue Fire. Oh, let's go around the loop. Sun's coming out again, gonna be a little bit cooler today than yesterday. We thought we'll get on here early before the queue builds up. Whee! Because they're not filling every seat, of course. We need some bigger queues! Whee! Are the buckets going to get us? The little trolls? <laughs> Go through the new tunnel now, of course, when Europa Park had the terrible fire a few years back. The Rapids Tunnel was completely destroyed, so they rebuilt this new one. Woo! Wow! Oh, it's magical. Pretty new decor, isn't it, in there? Oh, no. <laughs> oh! oh. Oh, 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 you've been cold there, Charlotte. <laughs> oh, oh my god! Ah! I'm soaked! Oh my god! I just soaked my bag and everything. Look at that! Oh my! You're right there, Charlotte. I've got no words. I'll tell you what, good job it's going to be getting hot again this afternoon. Oh, so we'll get on here, we don't get too wet. I'm with your rafting. I'm not trusting you. <laughs> you love it. I don't. Uh, I'm actually wetter than Piranha. Oh, God, my back. Oh, God. Here's a look at all those Scandinavian buildings. Snorri Torin's literally just behind that wall there, down the bottom here. Quite interesting. Of course, we went on that in yesterday's vlog as well, so check it out if you've not seen it. 
I love all the buildings though. They made them a lot nicer, a lot more colourful. Oh! Oh! <laughs> We're making some funny noises this morning on here. Oh no! Oh, it's coming in! The water just keeps on coming. Oh my god. That's amazing. We've got the waterfalls to come out as well. Round the waterfalls now. How are you feeling? So good. Yeah. <laughs> Loving the mask today as well. Look at the mask. Us with Mickey and Minnie. Here we go. Distanciation au sol pour Uh oh. Woo! Ah! Oh! <laughs> oh! Wow. I was expecting to say, oh, we didn't get that wet there, but. Absolutely dripping wet through on fuel rafting. I enjoyed that. It's a really good rapids here at the park. It's one of the best rapids out there, actually. Did you like it? No. <laughs> she loved it. Absolutely brilliant. Fuel oh. rafting. You get some nice thieving on the lift hill leaving here as well. Seagulls. Oh yeah. Had a bit of a soak in there this morning. You enjoy that? Yeah. No. <laughs> a nice bit of fuel rafted. It's a good rapids, and Charlotte's friends just over here as well. The fisherman in the yellow coat. There we go. He's got his little fire going. What's he found this morning? He's got a big fish down there. Make sure your house doesn't catch on fire over there. Make sure you're watching. <laughs> Love it, right? We're going to go on another water ride now. Are you coming on or no. not? Whale adventures. I'll take you on before the queue builds up. It's a uh, Mac Ride Splash Battle, so it's just round here in the Iceland themed area. It's down by Woden, so may as well take you on board before the queue probably gets a bit bigger later on. You might be thinking, why is all this so wet? If you're walking down here, you've got to watch out for the rocks in the middle there. There's a big water effect what goes off <laughs> every so often. And it will soak the path, especially if the wind's blowing in the right direction. It will absolutely soak the path. It's quite funny actually just standing here and like seeing people come down here and not realising. Right? It just erupts and goes off. I was hoping for it to go off then, but I think it's only just gone. So we'll make our way down this way to Whale Adventures. Well, walk straight on to Whale Adventures. It's that quiet. I've got my own boats on here. You've got this really nice indoor themed section. Lovely in here. It's updated a few years ago when they added all this. Very, very nice. Europa Park realised that a lot of people weren't actually riding this attraction because he got too wet. So they actually took away a lot of the water guns that used to be around the side here. All of these little balconies used to have water guns shooting this way. Um, yeah, they took a lot of them off. Of course, they've still got the guns here on the boats. Um, but yeah, in terms of actually around the side, then there's only one or maybe two just around the corner. So yeah, you don't really get that wet. It's not like some of the other splash battles out there where you get absolutely soaked. Especially when there's only a couple of people on the boats. There's just one man on that one in front as well. Beautiful day again here at Europa Park. In terms of the guns, it looks like they've actually removed all of them around the side now. I thought there was maybe one or two left just here. But yeah, they seem to have uh, actually taken them off as well. So yeah, I mean, you're not really going to get wet at all much on here. There's a few little effects. Sometimes you can activate them with uh, those. There you go. And he pops up just like that. The water guns are really good quality on here though, actually. Oh, I'm getting fired from the back. Yeah, ow! <laughs> He's getting me from behind. <laughs> He's over there. <laughs> Love it. Can't spot Charlotte. I don't know where she's gone. She's probably gone to get something to eat, to eat, to be honest. We do like the snacks here at Europa Park. Yeah, this is where the two were. On these two um, little stands just here, there was one there and one there, and obviously they took them off. But yeah, people were just finding it too wet, so they weren't riding it. But as we can see, people still aren't really riding it. So make our way around this way. There's a little dark ride section, which is nice. There we 
go, that's Whale Adventures. Sure you don't want to go back down there, Charlotte? No, I don't. <laughs> Just go off Whale Adventures. To be honest, you'd have been all right on there. I didn't get wet at all. Somebody tried splashing me, but I was all right. Anyway, in Scandinavia again now for Vinjama, the pirate ship. So let's go and have a little ride on here. Let's take you along with the chest mounted GoPro. Oh, we've got some cheering going on today. Hey. Here we go then on Vinjama. Hey. We're on the second row from the back, so we should get a bit of a good swing action here. Are we going to get some cheers going on? Should we get one started? Here we go. We're going to get one that side. Oh, well, just the one, just the one. Woo! <laughs> oh, nothing. That's really disappointing. Should have been on the one before. Whee! <laughs> Of course, as mentioned yesterday, masks are required on all rides. Uh, Queue lines, toilets, shops, restaurants. But when you're just walking around the park, you don't have to wear them if you don't want to. <laughs> Woo! Of course, you've got the really nice Nordic church that you can see just over there as well. You can get married in there. A nice wooden church. Such a nice variety of attractions here at Europa Park, it really is. <laughs> right then, so after a ride there on Vinjama, the pirate ship, over in the Austrian themed area of the park now. For a ride on the Tyrrell log flume. Charlotte stayed off on this one. She's still absolutely soaked from fjord rafting. So here we go. It's quite a nice flume ride there. So you get some good interaction with some of the other rides, including Alpen Express that we went on in the vlog yesterday. Hey, there's the EPA Express monorail up there as well. One of two monorails that they've got here. And we also go through the diamond mine as well, which has got loads of lovely theming. Warming up again now here at Europa Park. It's not quite as hot as yesterday. Can we see Charlotte anywhere over there at the side? We'll give her a wave when we go down the drop. Can't see her. Here we go. Whee! Oh, oh my God. Oh, I don't remember getting that wet on here on the Tyrrell. <laughs> awesome. Brings you around through the Spanish area just here as well. This park is absolutely gorgeous, it really is. And here we go, into the diamond mine. Hey! And there it goes. Absolutely gorgeous theming in here. I feel like they've actually updated the lighting in here since last time. I think maybe they've changed it all over to LED. It certainly seems a lot brighter. We make our way round towards the big drop. There we go, top of the conveyor belt lift till now. And here we go, Tyrrell. <laughs> awesome, there we go. Lovely day for it. What a great ride, really nice themed boats on this too. Wonderful logs, look at them. Just had a wonderful ride there on the Tyrrell log flume and waited less than 10 minutes for that as well, so not too bad at all. Anyway, we're going on these wonderfully themed chair swings now. We've also got the fountains down at the bottom here as well. Kind of similar to the ones at Fantasialand at the entrance area in Berlin. However, the families don't go quite as high on these ones, they're more low to the ground, but still very, very pretty. I enjoy the variety of attractions here at Europa Park, and it's crazy because you can film three days worth of vlogs from here, and I have done before, and show loads and different things.
things every single day. Of course, filming two vlogs this time, covering all of our favourites. Um, yeah, it is crazy. There's so much variety here, isn't there, Charlotte? We're going on a giant mushroom. <laughs> it is a giant mushroom. We're going to spin round and go over the uh, little waterfalls. But yeah, in terms of the uh, amount of rides here, so much for everybody. Thrill rides, family rides, dark rides, water rides. There is everything at this park, and it's certainly worth a visit. Let's go on with the GoPro. Chesty. Fairwind's on, and off we go. Gets swinging quite fast, this one. It's one of the best chair swings I've ever been on this. Woo! Hey! Go watch your legs on the trees. <laughs> All the monorail track. Hey! When you've got wet on the water rise, this dries you off lovely. Right when the EP Express comes past the monorail, you get so close to it. Nice and relaxing, spin dry. A wonderful ride there on the chair swings over in the Austrian themed area of Europa Park. Really nice, intense ride that actually, isn't it? Like, yeah, I guess going really quite good. quick. Yeah, it does. Yeah, really nice. I like the little uh, waterfalls what they've got as well on there. Very, very nice. We're going to make our way down this way now through the forest. So as we make our way down here, you've got all sorts of different interactives. And the good thing is about down here, you can actually press which language you want them in as well. And English is an option on there, French and of course German. So it's quite nice, isn't it, how you can actually press them uh, and have them in your own language, including Frol Holla. But to be honest, I don't think Frol Holla is working because normally there'd be foam everywhere all around here. But, oh, let's find out. I don't think she's working with the foam. Every time she shakes a feather bed, the snow on earth begins to fall. But I don't think we're getting it. It's run out of fluid. How disappointing is that, Charlotte? Full holler has run out of juice. So normally it's just like a snow machine and she just sprays it all over here and it's fantastic. But there you go, Full holler, you've let me down. Get your juices filled up. But yeah, as you can see, here's all the different options. So it's blue for English. Uh, it tells you about mother holder. We press that. No, oh, just there we go. Old oh, mother holder. <laughs> anyway, we're going to make our way down this way into the Arthur building now because Charlotte's going to take you on for a ride, aren't you? Yeah. What are you going on? Poppy Tower. Poppy Tower. So we'll make our way around this way and we'll get to Charlotte with the GoPro on. She'll take you along for the ride on Poppy Towers. <laughs> Oh, it's absolutely wonderful in here. And of course, every time we come into this building, the main highlight is Arthur in the Minimoy's Kingdom, as we can see here. An absolutely fantastic family ride. We went on it in yesterday's vlog, so if you want to see on-ride footage, check it out. But also, we do forget to cover sometimes is the fact you've got a food unit in here, Jack's Deli. And also up here, you've got two other rides as well. The Mul Mul Carousel, that's just up there at the top. And then Poppy Towers, these two family drop towers just over here. So Charlotte's got the GoPro on. We'll hand over to Charlotte for some on-ride footage. Here we go. So here we are on the Poppy Towers. Oh, it's fast. Look at the picket fence. Oh, no. So here we are at the top, spinning round. There's Sean down there. It's forceful, this one is. You got another one right next to it. The giant poppies. Lovely view. Absolutely 
love it. Right there, into the arena of football then now. Charlotte's just had a nice ride on Poppy Towers, haven't you? Yeah, it's good. Yep. Bit of on-ride footage there. Time for the Dodgems. The question is, Charlotte, is the gym ball still in place? I don't think it is, is it? Have we got a gym ball? Oh, it's been removed. So we thought it might have because of social distancing, in court, of course, and uh, handball and that sort of thing. Normally I have a big gym ball here and you try and get it in the goals at the side, but it's just a standard Dodgems today. No gym ball. Gym ball! Hopefully we'll be back soon. Hey, here we go then on Arena of Football. But yeah, they've even got the lights turned off on the goals. Very, very quiet in here. Normally has a great atmosphere, but obviously because the sports bar's closed off as well, not many people about. It's very, very rare that you get empty cars on here. In fact, I don't really think I've ever seen it. Hey, there's Charlotte. I do like these dodgems that are powered from underneath. Saves having to have the big stick going up into the ceiling. And with arena of football, it's not a one-way round or anything like that. You can go whichever way you want. But yeah, of course, the sports bar is closed. But in terms of food, it is quite limited here at Europa Park. There's still quite a lot open, but not all food outlets are in, in operation. This is one of the closed ones here. There she is. Let's get her. She's number eight. Hey! <laughs> Not quite the same without Jimbo, but hopefully Jimbo will be back again soon. Oh, that was a close one. Jimbo. Oh, she's put me in the corner. Good ride there on Arena of Football. Not quite as good as normal though. Like I said, I do really miss that Jimbo. Yeah, it wasn't the same. Was it, it wasn't, it's normally got a great atmosphere in there. I'll tell you what has got a great atmosphere though. Bench, just here on the left hand side. The ride that we don't really know how to pronounce. Merry Christmas, everybody. As we can see, world class animatronics here. <laughs> Yeah, it's a nice little Russian themed art ride actually. You actually sit on a bench. Nice little lantern on the front as well. Very relaxing. You can get an online photo, take home your memories. And there we go, thanks for joining us for a ride on bench here at Europa Park. Hashtag singing penguins, everybody. After a ride there on bench over in Russia, we're down here now in England. Now you've got this fantastic attraction just off here to the right hand side that is unfortunately closed at the moment, I'd imagine because of social distancing. Uh, but here it is, it used to be known as Queen's Diamond, it's a laser maze. But it's actually been rethemed and renamed for this year, all based around the Adventure Club of Europe, which is something that Europa Park have created with their own characters and um, lots of different attractions are starting to uh, bring that into it. So yeah, it is closed at the moment, it's completely understandable because um, they're touching the floor and the lasers and everything like that. Uh, but we have still got a couple of nice flat rides in action around here. We've got the uh, crazy bus just over there, looks like they put some more details on that actually. In fact they have, yeah, we've got the uh, United Kingdom flag on there now. That's definitely been uh, done up quite a bit there in terms of the decor. One of my favourites just next door, the London Taxi Company. It's crazy taxis, so let's get have a ride on here, love this. Here we go there on the crazy taxis, but unfortunately we've got no music, it's not working, which Sadly, that is a big part of this flat ride. That's why I enjoy it so much, but we've got no music. 
it's a bit weird. Hopefully the dancing dinghy won't let us down in Ireland. Don't get me wrong, it's still a fun ride, but it's one of them rides where the music really makes it. But it's not working. So there you go. That's about all I'll show you, that one. Hey, can you spot Charlotte? There she is. Hey, in a taxi. Woo! Taxi around London. Very comfy in the back. You get a very nice, comfy backrest. But yeah, not the same without the audio. Hopefully they get that fixed soon. Right, we're going to head round into Ireland now. Here we are then in Ireland. Absolutely love this area of Europa Park. And they just did such a good job with all the theming around here. And I tell you what, all the trees and landscaping has grown lovely around here, making it one of the most pretty parts of Europa Park. Very, very nice. Here we go then. So we come on the spinning dragons now. Here in Ireland. Whee! Well, the music's working on here, so hopefully things are looking up music wise. Building up for the dancing dinghy. Hey, sorry, Charlotte, if I squash you. No. Ah. It's quite an intense little ride, this. Whee. Like I said at the start of the vlog today, we're focusing on rides that we didn't do yesterday. If you want to see a lot of the bigger roller coasters, check out yesterday's vlog. There's still a few coasters we've not done though here today. And we're going to cover those. Pegasus, Matterhorn Blitz. We'll do Bar Express here in Ireland if it's quiet. Won't wait too long for it, but if it's quiet, we'll go on. Woo! Arms in the air like you just don't care. There's the big slides here in Ireland. Like I say, it's a really nice area and all the trees and landscaping's growing lovely. There's Bar Express. We were gonna go on, but it's got quite a wait, so we won't go on there. It's quite a low throughput attraction as well. So it won't take up the space for the people that really wanna go on it. He's loving that Coke, isn't he? There we go. I've never seen him sat here before. He's quite nice, isn't he? I like I can't that. I go on the slide. Oh, you've got to be under 12, was it? Yeah. Oh, you've got the old Mackay's just over here. Really nice pub, which they've got. There's a big play area off to the right as well. So many hidden gems at this park. Like you walk around and you find new things all the time. Like I say, you can film a vlog every day here for days and days and film different stuff. It's impossible to cover everything in one trip. So many rides, food outlets, shops, restaurants. Very, very nice. And of course, we've got the dancing dinghy just around here to the right hand side. So we're heading there shortly. And we'll take you along for the ride. We'll also go on Euro Tower at some point as well. Just see Euro Tower up the top just there. The Parks Observation Tower. Whee, here it is then, the dancing dinghy. Give us a little dance for the dinghy, Charlotte. Oh, she's off. Whoa, she's going crazy. Oh, wow, look at that. That is some proper Irish dancing. Can we have some more of that? I was loving it. Here we go. Wow, that is, oh, that is amazing. I didn't know she could do that. Here we go, Dancing Diggy, nice I'm a score soundtrack on here. And here it is, let's go for a ride. Here we go, on the Dancing Diggy. I can't believe that dancing there from Charlotte. She's got a restraint stopping her now, so she can't dance. Oh no, she's going. <laughs> It does feel like the soundtrack's been turned down a bit in here. It is on, but yeah, I'm not too sure on some of the soundtracks here. It looks like maybe whoever looks after the speakers needs to come and do a bit more work because they're all a bit quiet. Definitely been turned down. And you know what I always say, audio really makes an attraction, especially a ride like this where it's had it custom made for it. some force though this more forceful than a zamperla manufactured by zero this one i believe yeah. 
There we go, the dancing dinghy. But yeah, if anyone from the park's watching, let's get that music turned back up. It needs getting back on full volume. Da -da 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 <laughs> nice ride there on the dancing dinghy. Hey, hello. Hey, he's got a sign that says take care. And is that disinfectant he's got? I don't know. I think it might just be water. You reckon? I always going around spraying people with disinfectant. I'm not too sure. I'm having another lovely day here at Europa Park. I tell you what, the temperature is just right now, I think. It's not too hot. It's not too cold, it's just a nice temperature. Let's just check the trains. Oh, any more trains coming? Any trains? We're all right, don't worry. I think the ball would be dinging if there were some trains coming. But uh, you never know at your Europa Park. There's that very efficient with the transport. The trains are always running around. And um, we went on the train as well yesterday. Loads of little rides down here. You've got Volo da Vinci, that's one of my favorites. We'll try and give that a go today, which is just up the top here. Um, along with that as well, a couple of little boat rides. There's one here, there's another boat ride over there. There's vintage cars. Honestly, there is so many rides in this park. It is crazy just how many rides that there is. Make our way around this way now. Yeah, it's a lovely themed area of the park. I mean, the whole park's lovely, isn't it? But yeah, this ride, of course, um, was redone a couple of years ago, the uh, old train ride here. Um, it's all based on Jim Knopf, I think it is now, um, as we pronounce it. But um, yeah, it's a nice little ride, what they've done. Follow Da Vinci up the top. Here we go. I thought this was a really nice little retheme, what they did here a couple of years ago. Very nice. You can even ring this. There we go. Rings a little bell on the front just there, which is quite nice. Just some lovely decor and theming. Great ride for the families, this one. I like how they put a smoke machine in each one as well. <laughs> the opening curtains is quite uh, satisfying there as well. And you get a pretty large animatronic when we get around here as well, which is quite nice. The smoke machine makes it for me. Oh, that is so nice. I believe when we turn this corner, we get to see this really nice animatronic. Here he is. Lovely. Just a nice little ride that with the retheme, what they've done. Very, very nice. Ring that bell one more time. Lovely. Jim Knopf. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Ring the bell. Yeah, the smoke really makes it. Hey, he's got a mask on. I love it. <laughs> it's a few different animatronics and figures we've seen here at Europa Park across the past couple of days. They've got masks on. And here we go, Vola da Vinci. This is a really relaxing ride and you get something quite special on here. I'll spin you around so you can see it. So it's not just a light, it's actually a speaker and a light together. How awesome is that? Hey, Charlotte doing the pedaling. Hey, come on, get that exercise in. <laughs> Really relaxing ride this, all through the trees. I think I'll let Charlotte do the pedaling. Yeah, <laughs> it's all right, we've got two people in the back as well. As mentioned yesterday, in terms of loading procedures on most rides, and they're filling them to the full capacity. A look down there at old timer fart. A little vintage cars ride. Hey, there's the characters down there. So there's no parade at the moment, but they are going round on the little uh, vehicle that we can see. There is Broccoli. Oh, there he is on a big bike. I love it. Where's Broccoli? He wasn't there. Oh, he was on it yesterday when we saw it, wasn't he? Old Broccoli. Oh, they must swap them around. Because there's only four places, wasn't there, on there for characters, so they must swap them. Woo! 
Really nice ride this and great theming on here as well. So shortly we're actually going to be watching another show here at Europa Park. You're not allowed to film the indoor theatre shows, but we'll give you a bit of a review. We're going to be watching some sort of magic show just around in the Europa Park theatre in the Italian themed area. Yesterday we watched the ice show and we enjoyed it. We thought, yeah, there were some parts of it that could have been better, but overall it was a good show. So I'm looking forward to seeing the magic show today and we'll see what it's like here at Europa Park. Time for a couple more attractions though first before we watch the show. Head on to Euro Tower shortly. Get some nice views across the park in the sunshine. Some on ride footage there from Volo da Vinci here at Europa Park. I absolutely love sitting here in the French themed area with a little snack. Got my favorite here, it's Sasha Cake. I absolutely love this. Had this for the first time when I came to Europa Park and it's just absolutely divine. What I like here with the little restaurant as well is you get a nice glass as well, don't you? Nice Coca-Cola glass. Yeah. That's Coca-Cola. That isn't gone off Coke. That's Mezzo Mix. A nice German special official Coke product that yeah. I really like. Charles not a fan though, I hear that. But uh, here we go. So we're going to have these. We're then going to go on the Euro Tower just up there. And then we're going to go and watch the show. So we'll see you when we go on the Euro Tower after I've had some Sasha cake. Look at that. Oh, absolutely lovely. Oh, yes. Oh, I'll tell you what, that was absolutely delicious. Oh, I love just sitting there in the French themed area, having a cake, having a drink, and looking out over that gorgeous themed area of the park. Anyway, let's go and have a nice view over Europa Park Resort from here on the Euro Tower. Let's go. Here we go then, up on the Euro Tower. There's some fantastic news. They've actually replaced all of the glass around the side here, which is great because it was quite scratched before. So it's nice how it's been replaced. When I say glass, I'm not too sure. Is it glass or is it perspex and stuff? I don't really know, but whatever it is, it's been replaced. So we get some gorgeous views across Europa Park. The French themed area, Eurosat Can Can Coaster, of course we went on that yesterday. Silver Star, Poseidon, the EP Express, the Matterhorn Blitz. So many amazing rides. As you see the Europa Park Arena just over there as well, the EP Dome, which is the tent. The arena just off to the left there, and in front of Silver Star, they do various events in there. I think I read that they can hold a few thousand in there as well. Over in the distance, the Camp Resort, a Wild West resort that they've got here. That's completely separate from the other hotels. And of course we get a view of Volatarium there, the huge show building for that flying theatre attraction. I want to talk about Rust. This is the town of Rust that we can see here, which is right next to the park. It's very much a part of the whole Europa Park experience actually. And over in the distance, we can actually see Rulantica and Kronosaur. So that gives you an idea, actually, on the distance that the new hotel and water park actually is away from the theme park itself. So over there in the distance, of course, they do run regular shuttle buses up there. But yeah, if you are looking to stay at Kronosaur, just be aware that, you know, you can't really just walk very easily to the theme park by the other themed hotels that we can see just over here on the right, Bell Rock. Stayed there for the past two nights. And tonight we're in the Coliseo, which is just there. Absolutely beautiful. What a park. Look down there to Schweizer Baban. Looks like they're actually putting a new building here over at the back there as well, which is quite interesting. Not too sure what that's for, but it's in the staff sort of maintenance area, so possibly a new building for parade floats or something here at Europa Park. Right, we're going to go and watch the show now, so we'll let you know our thoughts on when we've come out. Gorgeous. 
Right then, so we've just been to watch the show in the Europa Park Theatre called It's Magic. It was a really nice show. It was actually more of a variety show than just magic tricks. Yeah. It was an illusionist. It was really good, wasn't it? Um, we did a couple of big uh, like illusions in there. One where he was lifted up into the ceiling, um, like your typical sort of escape illusion where he had to um, get out of all these ropes and stuff he'd been chained up in. The fire was burning, the countdown clock was going. Very sort of dramatic, wasn't yeah, it, with that? Yeah, um, Along with that, I did a couple of other bits as well, um, which was good fun. However, what I really liked was the fact that we saw probably one of the best jugglers, if not the best juggler yeah, I've ever definitely. seen. But well, I can juggle, but I can't juggle like he, he can. He was really oh, he good. He was absolutely brilliant, wasn't he? Um, he started off with some balls, juggling his balls, and then he got loads more of them, and then he got some clubs as well. Like yeah, like he was really, really good. Um, along with that, there were some fantastic costumes in there. Yeah. Um, like I say, it was more of a variety show, yeah, wasn't like, it? I didn't really understand it because it was so magic and then they came out dancing. Yeah. It, 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 it should be more like a variety show. Yeah, I think the name's probably the, the wrong thing the for wrong it. Thing. But I thought it was a very, very good yeah. production. The lighting, the stage, the costumes. It was a good 30 minute action packed show. It didn't drag out for too long either. It was quite a lot of action in 30 minutes. Sometimes with shows that feature big illusions and stuff, they can drag them out over a long period of time. Um, but with that, it was straight to the point. Some really good songs in there as well, including the uh, new song. I think it's Just Be Free, I think it's called. Um, the new, you yeah, say, Just Feel Free, the Europa Park 2020 song. Anyway, we're going to go on some more rides this afternoon here on a beautiful hot day at Europa Park in our day two vlog. Oh, going to get a lovely suntan, or should I say, more tan lines. On to our next ride this afternoon here at Europa Park. It's the Matterhorn Blitz, everybody. Yes, absolutely love this. Let's head around this way and go and join the queue for Matterhorn Blitz here at Europa Park. Here we go then, so we wait about 20 minutes there for Massahorn Blitz. And up we go. Woo! Hey! Really cool lift hill, so two trains can actually come in here at the same time. That one will get dispatched first, and then we'll be off. Uh, Charlotte, are you ready for the Blitz? It's, it's the Matterhorn Blitz. Off that one goes. Of course, as we mentioned in yesterday's vlog, in terms of seating, you're not allowed to pick um, where you seat. The staff are putting you in your seats. So of course, we've ended up in the back here, normally you'd be able to wait for the front. But of course, that is completely understandable. Bit of uh, interaction over there with Euro Tower. And Schweizer Bob Arn, here we go. It's got a really good first drop on this, actually. And we're about to go down it, about now, here we go. That's it, whack me into some corners. Woohoo! Hey! Whoa! I can see Charlotte looking down at that ice cream then. She wants a happiness station, I can tell. <laughs> I saw you. Whoa! Come on, Blitz, do your worst. Whoa! Euro sat. Hey! Time for a bit of an off road adventure now. I love this part of the ride. Hey! Oh, oh. 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 <laughs> oh, and there we go, the Matterhorn Blitz at Europa Park, everybody. God, I can't believe that snow hasn't melted today. Can you? God, that's absolutely crazy. Really enjoyed that. It's a fantastic roller coaster. And talking of roller coasters, up next, we're going on Pegasus. Let's go and ride. Oh, so we had a fantastic ride there on Matterhorn Blitz. And then we came off and we had some swirls, didn't we? How was oh, it? I was greedy on the toppings. I had five toppings and now I'm 
feel sick. <laughs> Your best with them swirls. They're absolutely Don't. fantastic, but have um, like three toppings. See, I have the five toppings because you get the bigger cup. <laughs> if you have three toppings, you get a small cup. You should just go, honestly, go for the three toppings. It's much better. I had strawberries and a couple of chocolates in there and it was just nice for me. I enjoyed I it. I had marshmallows, Smarties, <laughs> Kinder, loads, meringue. I had loads. You had all sorts of stuff. Anyway, up next, we're going on Pegasus, the Mac Young Star. It's on a 15 minute wait, so let's go and have a ride. In terms of Matt Horn Blitz, we waited about 25 minutes or so there, so not too bad. So in terms of the capacity, definitely a lot lower here than it is normal. Uh, I think they've done a fantastic job when it comes to um, reducing that capacity of the park, uh, keeping rides running the best they can do. Done a really good job, we've had a fantastic couple of days. We've got a third day here tomorrow, we're not gonna be filming a vlog in the park, but there's still one more Europa Park vlog to come up. And that's a room tour of our room tonight at Hotel Coliseo. Let's go on Pegasus, Mac Youngstar. Here we go then, off we go on Pegasus. It was actually advertised 15 minutes as you saw. We've waited five minutes, two trains in action. Some of the best trains in the business on this. Absolutely love the design of the front of the train. It's brilliant. And up we go. Really good family coaster this, very, very snappy. You get some good air time. And if we look off to the right, you also get a fantastic view of Silver Star, one of the best views in the park actually, of Silver Star, there it is. You also see Charlotte as well. <laughs> and the Flix bus, yes. Love a good Flix bus. There's all Traumatica Horror Nights down there, not taking place this year. And here we go. Well, I love it, Pegasus at Europa Park. Great views of Poseidon as well. You gotta watch out because you might get dripped on when you're in the queue line or whilst you're on ride. But there you go, Pegasus. Up next, gonna go and see my friend. What's she called? She's uh, Cassandra. Cassandra. She is Flug de Cassandra. Here we go. This is a Mac Rides Madhouse that we're about to experience. Charlotte can't remember it from last time. It's got a good soundtrack, this one. Oh, there goes the bell. So we'll take you on board with the GoPro. What a gorgeous park. And what a beautiful day. Had a great ride there on Cassandra here in the Greek themed area. How was your ride? Do you remember it now? I don't remember that at all. No, I think we definitely went on it. I think you've been on there before. Oh, I really liked it. You enjoyed it because what happens on there? There's like little ticklers in the seat. Yeah, 
also built into the seats, they've got like little air cannons in the back. And also, um, it's hard to explain what they are. If you've done the Dungeons attractions, um, in the Dungeons, when you go into the Plague Doctor, um, they do like the leeches um, effect. It's that same effect, but actually built into the seats on the Madhouse, which is pretty awesome. Uh, anyway, as you can see, we are coming to the end of this day two vlog here from Europa Park. And we're gonna have a little ride round now on the EP Express. And um, followed by that, we've got something very, very special that the park have arranged for us uh, that we're gonna be doing. So we'll talk a little bit about that later on. And uh, yeah, in the meantime, I'll have a ride round on the EP Express, the monorail here at Europa Park. Here we go then on the EP Express. Great monorail because you can actually see out the windows on this one. Very, very nice looking out over the park. Straight over Poseidon just here. The great thing is with the monorail, it actually tells you on the app when the next monorail is. And also as well, um, you've got screens up in all of the stations. That of course gives you updates on when the next monorail is departing. So we wait about three minutes for this one. It's on a nice journey, so it acts as a good transportation ride to get around the park. And I'll put in a bit of footage as we make our way around. So many fantastic family attractions here to enjoy and like I say you don't need to be travelling to another part of the park on this, you can just sit on it all day if you wanted to, um, you don't get chucked off um, even at the moment during the Covid-19 pandemic, they're not sort of limiting people on here or the amount of loops you can have round on it, um, you can sit on here all day if you wanted to, same with the train, same with the Historama monorail as well. So there's a look at tonight's accommodation. In fact, we started the vlog right out the front just there of Hotel Coliseo, and that's where we're staying tonight. So make sure you stay tuned for our room tour vlog. It'll be our final video from this trip here at Europa Park. Bit of random street entertainment. Like I mentioned earlier on, there's no parade at the moment, but they are going around with some of the characters and entertainments cast. Why not? It's just going around singing for everybody. Yeah, nice, that is a bit of street theatre. Anyway, we're going to make our way down this way towards the Dutch themed area of Europa Park. And what could be happening in the Dutch themed area, I wonder? Well, we're about to find out. So after a wonderful ride there on the EP Express, we've actually just been into a little theatre which is underneath Food Loop to go and discover the story of Rulantica. It's actually been updated, uh, so it went on there and it was good to see, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was really good. It's good because they've got the English translation in there and of course it gives you a good idea on the storyline and all the effort what's being put in by Europa Park um, with the story of Rulantica, that new water park with 17 water slides. Sounds like Charlotte's Nightmare. <laughs> You're not a big fan, are you, water no. parks? But I'm sure at some point in the future we we will go, yeah. uh, go together, because there's a lot of other stuff you'd be able to enjoy yeah. there. But I'll tell you what you will be able to enjoy, and something that I'll be able to enjoy. We've actually been invited by Europa Park to go on an exclusive behind the scenes preview of Pirates and Batavia. Yeah. And that's what we're doing now. So this is actually just a week away from opening here at Europa Park. Of course, with our trip, we had to plan it around these dates due to your time off, as it yeah. would have come a little bit later yeah. to come and ride it. But we've been invited by the park to actually enter Batavia oh. early. Early. I don't think we're going to get to ride it, but we're going to get to go in there. Unfortunately, the camera is going to have to be switched off at this point. There'll be no photos, there'll be no videos. It's still all very under wraps at the moment. 
However, the park have been doing some updates on their official YouTube channel, showing you some previews and some of the areas. So make sure you check that out. But we're about to go and meet one of the managers here at the park who's going to take us for a tour around. And we will see you afterwards, where I believe we're going to be able to talk about some of our experiences. Maybe not all of them, um, but we're going to make our way now into Batavia. Yeah. This is it, the brand new ride. Of course, um, Paris and Batavia was completely destroyed just over two years ago in a fire here at Europa Park. The whole of the Scandinavia area burnt down and of course so did this dark ride. It was originally built in the 80s. It's been completely rebuilt from the ground up with only a few bits that have been saved. I believe the entrance side and also a few animatronics inside that they've managed to salvage. Other than that, it's a completely new ride system, a completely new ride, and we're about to go inside and have a look. So we'll see you afterwards. Let's go for a look inside Paris and Batavia. I'm so excited. What an absolutely incredible hour we've just had here at Europa Park. We've just been taken fully behind the scenes on Pirates and Batavia, that huge new dark ride here at Europa Park. And I just want to say a massive thank you to the team here at Europa Park and also Max Solutions for taking us on that behind the scenes tour because wow, I am speechless. I know, it was amazing. What we've just seen is absolutely incredible. And of course, by the time you're watching this vlog, Pirates and Batavia will now be open to the public. And let's just say what they've done with that ride is absolutely incredible. They've taken what was a classic attraction, of course, that was destroyed in a terrible fire and they've rebuilt it up, but they've not made it exactly the same. In fact, it's actually very different to what it was before. It's got its own charm. Um, it's got different scenes in there than previously. An amazing soundtrack that changes as you go between scenes. And of course, it's still got that classic feel, but it's been completely revitalized. There's some gorgeous scenery in there, yeah, isn't there? absolutely gorgeous in there. I think what really shines through for me with what they've done with Pirates and Batavia is some of the scenes. Like the set design is absolutely incredible. incredible. Don't get me wrong, it was detailed before, but they've really brought Pirates um, and, and brought it into something absolutely world class and incredible. Yeah, it was a great dark ride before, it was my favourite dark ride here, but what they've done with it now is they've made it more modern. Something that makes me really, really happy about it is there isn't actually loads and loads of um, screens and stuff in there. Yeah. Originally, I thought there might have been too much media of projections and screens. Yes, there's a few, but not many. In fact, it's mostly theming, real animatronic set pieces, but they've also combined that with some projection mapping um, and some other classics as well. Honestly, it is brilliant, isn't Amazing, it? Amazing, yeah. So once again, a big thank you to the park. Of course, um, in terms of did we see it in full show conditions? No, there was still quite a bit of work taking place. In fact, they were programming the ride when we went on there uh, and had a little walk all through the building. And uh, yeah, it was still been programmed wasn't it yeah, when we uh, yeah. when we went through there but uh, in terms of uh, how much work there is left to do um, I imagine it's gonna be a very busy week for the team here at Europa Park getting that ready and I look forward to coming back to the park riding it and of course um, sharing our full review when it's complete something like that even when it opens they're gonna be working on mornings on evenings and putting it all together so they make improvements get the sequencing right the timing but I tell you what Europa Park has done an amazing job it gets me excited to come back to ride it so yes definitely but uh, there we go that is the end of this vlog here from Europa Park our two days that we've had here on the park of course we're going to be coming back tomorrow we're having a non um, filming day tomorrow we're just going to go around do some more re-rides here at the park but there is still one more vlog to come from this trip to Europa Park and that'll be a room tour of where we're staying tonight Ooh. and that's Hotel Coliseo so I've actually paid for a bit of an upgrade Yay. we're going to be looking out um, over the Coliseum itself and um, so hopefully we'll get a really nice view of the fountains all the fire and I will be taking you on a full room tour um, when we get to the hotel so um, yes yeah, certainly very exciting if you haven't already seen it check out our day one vlog from Europa Park and along with that as well of course our room tour from Hotel Bell Rock yes. but what an amazing couple of days we've it's had down amazing. here it's been so nice to get back it really has and some of our favorite rides that we've done probably um Woden, Blue Fire, Silver Star Madam 
Fraud. You wrote more Madame Fraud and Right. There Fraud we go. Right. If that's how we say it. You've loved that. I and loved it. In terms of the changes, like Volatarium since your I last really came. I really like Volatarium. I think Can Can Coast is really good as well. I really like that. Yeah, you've seen all the changes. Yeah, a lot's happened. Really good. Really enjoyed it. And there's a lot more to come when we return Yay. to ride Parrington Batavia at some point in the future. But there we go. In terms of the social distancing measures, they've definitely kept it restricted here today as well. Um, the past couple of days, you know, it's not been too busy. In fact, we're, we're sat now with the beautiful Balthazar Castle just behind us. Very, very quiet around here. Very peaceful. You can tell that capacity is really being capped. Yeah. Wait times haven't been too bad at all. The maximum we've waited is maybe, what, 40 minutes? Maybe yeah, tops? Not, probably not, not even that. Um, really, really low queue times. And hopefully it'll be the same tomorrow for us. But in terms of the social distancing measures, the yeah. staff are doing a really good job telling yeah, people are. to put the masks on and keep a distance. And in general, people are following it here quite yeah. a lot. There's a few places where they haven't, but in general, I'd say out of all the parts we've done, people have been following it and respecting it quite a bit here, which is certainly very, very good. But there we go. Thank you very much for joining us for our third vlog of four here from Europa Park. We'll see you for our room tour of Hotel Coliseo. And following on from that, where are we going? We're going to Disneyland Paris. Disneyland Paris. We're going to be filming two vlogs down at Disneyland Paris, seeing all of their changes and so much more. So make sure you stay tuned for that here on Theme Park Worldwide. Anyway, we've got someone just to show you just before we wrap up the vlog, because of course, here at Europa Park, we've shown how to put masks on some of the animatronics and figures. Well, we've got a friend of ours here, a good friend of Theme Park Worldwide. It's Mary, and she's being protected. How are you doing, Mary? You all right? Mary, hello? Nothing. Nothing. She's not speaking to us, but we thought we've got to get Mary in the vlog down here out the front of the gorgeous Balthazar Castle. Thanks for joining me and Charlotte here from Europa Park. And Mary will be back soon for Pirates. And that means it's time to cue those credits. See you soon.